Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice, and this week, well, guess what? what? I'm in the hot seat. He is. I have to try to remember everything to say to everybody because okay. we don't use cue cards. So, this <laughs> week, we are heading back to, for part two of the Yukon with Moose Mania and McMillan River Adventures with the Donmeister. Vicki, last week, she done shot her moose. Yep, and it sank. Hmm. <laughs> Th this Never week's had a moose lucky logo. Before is Plano. Plano keeps you protected, whether it's bow gun, rifle, pistol, cameras, or whatever. They got you covered. Watch for the Plano logo, and at the end of the show, we'll tell them what to do with that. So all kidding okay, aside, so yes, last week was crazy. Wet, was. warm weather, I mean, animals weren't moving, period. No, and I did shoot my bull like on the seventh day of the hunt, which leaves you like two and a half days to hunt. Yep, two and a half days, you know, they have to go to Mr. Wonderful, make it happen. Really? <sighs> really? Oh, we need to check the spy point trail cameras too, though. Because you never know. Wolves, you never know grizzlies, or whatever. But that weather might keep them down. It might. It might. So we it should just might. get going? Yeah. All right. Let's go back up. Part two Moose Mania. McMillan River My Adventures. My turn. Only a couple days left. Pressure's on. Who are you going to call? Ralphie Boy. great stock on a really nice bull and got a great shot on him right where you want the arrow to go. Ooh. Ooh. He sank to the bottom of the lake. We're hoping we can find him because what a waste, what a waste of a god creature if we can't find him. Hold on, hold on. We got him. All I know is thank you, McMillan River Adventures. Thank you, big guy upstairs, for watching over us and letting us find him this morning. And Tyler, thank you, buddy. Oh, you're very thank welcome. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh. Well, we got my moose. We brought it back to camp. And now we're making dinner. A little back strap with some onions. Mm. Okay, check this out. We have peppercorn sauce. Corn. We have potatoes. Getting ready to mash them up. And in the oven, we have our moose box drop. It has tin foil on it to keep all those horrible boys out of the back straps till it's ready for dinner. Actually, actually, Don can have some because Don is Don. Don, Don can have a piece. Spoiled little. He is spoiled. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tasty. Oh. I told him I'd get him in the day early. Oh. And it's it. I'm making Ralph's plate to okay, show the yeah, presentation. Oh, to show the presentation. Let's see. You got yourself a keeper, Ralph. Well, my first day out, Don's got some issues in camp and he's got to take care of. So we have the A-team, the A-team. I didn't know they had Hutterites in Illinois. Oh, <laughs> and what do they got here? I'm telling you. I know, those hats got to go, honey. Yeah. It don't matter, let's do it. Said earlier, we had this front moving last night, high winds, rain, just 
what we're getting into. Oh, yeah. And I've got the wind hitting this in the back, blowing this way. Even though it's windy out, we're going to go move in, get to this one point, and just do some calling. You might recognize it. It's where Vicky, Don, and I were calling earlier in the week. But hey, you don't know until you try. you want it to work right there. That's what we want. You know, in most places you'd never turn, you'd turn down a bull like that. But here at McMillan River, <coughs> even though this is my second to the last day, we'll let him grow up to be a bigger bull. Oh man, that's that's exactly how you want it to go too late. What was he? Four yards? Oh yeah, he wasn't he wasn't far at all. We had him. Because no. she was calling to you. Right there he, he just stumble up on even That's this is awesome, buddy. It was awesome. That's what it's about. Boost me at its best with McMillan River. Man, why couldn't he have been a big old bull?
boy, we made it back just in time to camp because the, the sky opened up, it started pouring. The rest of the evening, well, we lost it to hunting, but at least we had time to dry out all the camera gear and all the hunting gear too. Don made a nice little dinner and well, we relaxed. We kind of relaxed and then the next morning, had a quick breakfast and uh, off we went to try again. Seems like we're eating a lot. It does seem like we're eating a lot. Oh. It is absolutely the last day. I know you hear that a lot, but I am telling you, it is the, we are flying out later today. And lo and behold, it's my turn. Weather's been horrible. We finally spot a bull. He's way up on the mountain and we're like, you know what? We can make this happen. I see brush moving. He's right here. I saw brush moving. I smell the bows. He's got to be like right over here. He's right here. I see him. I see him. Look between that leaning tree and that patch. Yeah. Let's walk straight this way. We go in, we said, we, we have to be done by noon. We have to be done. And I know Vicky's gonna get upset if I run late, and usually I do. So anyways, we go up, we climb, make the climb, we get all the way up there, we do some calls. He answers, he responds, he's a hot bull. We got on the bull. He, we're, we're calling, he's receptive, he's coming in, he's thrashing brush. We're keep trying to keep the wind in our favor. We finally get a good glimpse at him at close yardage, realize he's a, he's a big old mature bull. You know, I knew the pressure was on, but I didn't think it was gonna be on like this. And we are actually flying out today. Same day, we gotta be done, I think she said by five. I don't know, give or take, but man, what do you expect? I know you hear this a lot, but I am telling you, it is truly the last day. The plane is coming to pick us up, I believe by five, whether that's Eastern, Mountain, Central, I don't know, I don't care. It's my day to hunt. Turned around, we got on the bull, he, we're, we're calling, he's receptive, he's coming in, he's thrashing brush. We're keep trying to keep the wind in our favor. We finally get a good glimpse at him at close yardage, realize he's a, he's a big old mature bull. And I mean, he comes in, presents the shot. I demonize him. And well, yeah, we're gonna run a little late. Oh well, I've ticked her off before. I didn't have a lot of window there. He was going to catch our window. Yeah. Away. I, we smoked him. Oh, you freaking smoked him. Yeah. The best part is, this is the same ridge I took <laughs> my lucky bow on. <laughs> we went and checked another spot, came back, took a hike, a few, nah, uh, 600, 600 yards, 700 yards. yards yeah. Ty started grunting. Man, he responded. We had to keep this wind in our favor. He's a he's a beautiful bull. He's got a lot of points. Wow. I don't know what to say. The last day, the last morning of the hunt. Yeah, this is it. And we just pinned a Yukon bull, baby. Did you see that funky point you had coming off? Yeah. Congratulations, son. Thank you. 
We gotta find that bull. I think I heard him go down. I got blood right here. Yep. You stay on it there, bud. I'm gonna go above you. And here he is. Check this out. What? <laughs> oh, baby. He's a wide one. He is wide. Oh, my. Look at the size of this animal. That is a big old bull. Congratulations, <laughs> bro. Oh, buddy, it's because you, seriously, right. we're a team. Look at that bull. Oh, my gosh. Old. He was a great bull, old. big old body, mature animal, just what you really want. And I mean, look at the mass on him. Hit him where it hoits, baby, every single time. Thank you, Lord. You know, I don't know. <laughs> we did it. We did it. McMillan River Adventures. Why do we come to the Yukon year after year after year? One, because we're blessed, we are, that we have a great relationship with Don and everybody, and, and Greg and Gary and Keith. I mean, the last day, the last few hours of a hunt, yeah, we neglected to realize how far we were walking and where, just in case you'd shoot a bull. Well, guess what? We shot the bull. Now we gotta get him out of here. But the reality of it is, is unbelievable. What a big, old, mature bull. I mean, this, look at the size of this animal. This is why you come to the Yukon. This thing is, this thing's 14, 1500 pounds. And one beaming baby, one Hellraiser, and my Hoyt. The fun stops here, baby. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, was that cool? But I have to tell you something. Oh boy, here, here it goes. goes, here it goes. You complained about my moose sinking. You shot your bull at like 10.30, 11 o'clock the morning the float plane is coming to pick us up at 4 p.m. Okay, you what, 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 what part the, did we you understand? A half a Bottom mile, of the mile ninth, and a half. two outs, bases loaded. You, you know, you don't you don't he even count that stuff. Shoots it a that mile away from the lake, up through the mar, through the bog, <laughs> up the mountain, you didn't sit, you didn't put any other restrictions on. You didn't. You said we had to be ready for the plane about five o'clock. No, four o'clock. But when that, we... I thought that was mountain time or central. <laughs> no. Yeah, congratulations. I, I said, thank you. Thank that you That was very a much. big old Big old bull. mature bull. Biggest body on that bull I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was really it was a, cool. It was. It was, it was cool really to experience. Cool. And finally, on our spy point camera, we got some wolves on your carcass. Right. But it was too late. It was too late. We couldn't go over there. No. That kind of stinks. Oh, well. Oh, well. well if uh, you happen to see the Plano logo. Keeps you protected all your gear, whether it's cameras, bows, rifles. You need you to log it, on to archerschoice.com. Click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win a Plano case. Oh, yeah. And all a whole bunch of, of cool other good stuff. stuff. Yeah. Okay, yes. next week. Next week, well, guess what? We're going to another favorite spot oh, of ours. Oh, you betcha. Yeah, we're going to North Dakota. <laughs> yep. Double and, B outfitters. And again, White tails. things were just not normal this past year. No, everywhere we went, it was kind of weird. Whether it was fall. warm weather, corn, or the crops were still standing, Everything. whatever it was. We just kept running into it, but you try to make the best of any situation. That's but why that's we love week. it, and that's why we call it hunting. Is it? Yes. All right, thanks for watching Archer's Choice this week. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right on, here, the Archer's on the Choice. Archer's Choice. That's why I'm in the hot seat. That, you know, well, just, then get talking. I did, but every time I talked, you interrupted me. You like, that's exactly you what you do to cut me. That off. You do it to me cool. all the time. It's like you just had another gallon of coffee, and I got to deal with it. I'm just, I, I am the sweet, innocent one. <laughs>